the one and only, the most addictive, coffee. Everybody loves it. Even we do. But do you know where it comes from? How do they make it? Who makes it? Well, in this presentation, you will find out. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, I am Lacho Pricolo. And I am Diego. Well, we're here to talk about coffee and where it comes from and if we should keep it in the market. Well, my opinion is that coffee should continue to be grown, but changes should be made so that the people and the environment are protected. It may not look like it, but coffee is the second most valuable commodity in the world. The number one is oil. So this means that in the market, coffee is on top of any other thing, including food, materials, or metal. The only better material is oil. It is estimated that $10 billion worth of coffee is traded worldwide every year. The coffee industries are worth more money than any other food industries. Coffee is distributed like this. It starts from the farmer, then it goes to the government and exporter. Then from these two, it goes to the importer and trader. They trade multiple stuff, and then the importer and trader from these, it goes to the roaster. From the roaster, it goes to the distributor, a retail store, and restaurants from the distributor to the retail store and restaurant. And then from these two, you to you. And that's how coffee is distributed. Coffee growing leaves a big ecological footprint on the planet. For 150 years, shake-grown coffee has worked perfectly, but in the 1970s, they started creating trees for a new way of growing coffee called the sun-grown. Produce more beans, but hurt the environment. The old day was good for a while, but with the new wildlife disappeared, and the soil eroded, and the steams were polluted with chemicals. Now that the trees are cleared, the animals, like birds living there, have to find a new habitat. Coffee is a valuable resource for adults and farmers, because it gives the farmers jobs and keeps the adults awake. The shade grown way is better because it's environmentally friendly. Although it produces four times less than sun grown, it doesn't use chemicals to pollute the soil. Also, the shade grown coffee is higher quality than it is better, since it's hand picked and only red cherries are picked. There are many cooperations that help coffee farmers around the world. In a co op, the members are like the owners. In this specific co op called Cooperación de Tarazul, they give the members 10% better price than in the market when they deliver the coffee to the co op. We think shade grown is better because you don't take down trees for coffee and you preserve the environment and use less chemicals than sun grown which requires multiple chemicals that affect the earth and you don't use that many because animals are in their natural habitat and they eat each other amongst them themselves and that's why the farmers use less pesticides because there is less animals to kill with chemicals. By using shade grown coffee we won't kill the habitat for the species so they will not die or won't have to move to a different place or habitat and they would not have to find new things to eat, so they would not starve. Unified coffee produces four times more coffee, but kills species with chemicals. Traditional coffee growing has some advantages. Higher quality, wild type habitat, alternative income, less chemicals, and higher profit. I think that coffee should still be sold, but should not be produced and extracted in the technified coffee growing form. And we should use the shade grown coffee for growing form and should use less chemicals. And they would put a species that eats the bugs that want to eat the coffee plants. And then the different animals that accidentally eat the coffee plants might die because of the chemicals. The population of migratory songbirds have declined 50% over the last 50, four year, 40 years due to habitat destruction. <laughs> If you purchase one bird-friendly cup of coffee, save, it saves approximately 1,200 square feet of habitat for migratory birds. That's really good deal. I didn't know that some of coffee destroyed habitats. There you go. Did you know that America is the single country that drinks the most coffee in the world? No, I didn't know that, Nacho. That's a lot of coffee. America drinks 20%, one-fifth, of the world's coffee, which makes them the single country that drinks the most coffee in the world. Altogether, Europe drinks about 45% of the world's coffee in Japan and that. So the conclusion to our opinion is that coffee should still be grown. We should improve the way we extract it and produce it without polluting the planet and wasting resources by not using sun-grown and using shade-grown instead because shade-grown doesn't destroy the planet and animals.